Hello friends, this is Val Wolf from Christ Healing Center in Durban, South Africa. And yes, I'm so excited to do this video today. What we're going to do is we're going to break off um, all evil covenants, um, spiritual soul ties, and all of those things that come against one receiving the deliverance from spiritual husband and wife, all those hindrances and all those things from the past that perhaps have not been renounced. Perhaps you've received your your prayer for to be uh, set free from a spiritual husband, but you haven't seen anything come to pass. And perhaps now there's time that we need to spend in renouncing and breaking off these things. Amen. I really believe it's important, friends, so that you can be set free from the spiritual husband, from the spiritual wife, and all these things that, that even cause divorces and so many things. So, friends, get excited and get ready. Yes. So, um, as we begin to break off these evil covenants, uh, just prepare your heart to receive what the Lord has for you. And um, just cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Amen. You know, enough is enough. You know, these things have been so destructive in so many lives, uh, causing breakup of marriages, miscarriages, fibroids, lots of job losses and divorces and so much. You know, I just want to encourage you to see my videos in the description below for more information about spiritual husband spiritual wife but for now we want to break off their power we want to renounce them and once renounced we're going to go into deliverance uh prayer so uh we can kick them out <laughs> amen so praise the lord this is really exciting and we're going to see wonderful results happen as i pray just remember hebrews 11 6 it says that only faith pleases God, so we are to boldly come before the throne of grace by faith in Jesus' name with thanksgiving, believing that it is done when we pray. Amen. So, friends, Jesus paid an awesome price on the cross that we would have eternal life. Yes. So he came to set the captives free and he gave us authority in his name to cast them out so we are indeed healed by the stripes of Jesus amen yes so Jesus is wanting us to be healed and delivered in every part of our body soul and spirit now we look at 1 Thessalonians 5 23 which says may God himself the God of peace sanctify you through and through May your whole spirit, soul, and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. So before we move forward, you must have the baptism of the Holy Spirit to command them out. So just say this right now. Just say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to forgive my sins and the sins of my fathers down the generations. Thank you for your grace in Jesus' name. Right now I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. So just start speaking in tongues. Just that wonderful prayer language according to Mark 16 verses 17. Just start. The Holy Spirit will give you utterance. You don't have to know how to speak in tongues. It just comes by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. But the main part is that you receive the baptism by faith. So just say thank you, Jesus, as you become witnesses. Hallelujah. Just filled with the Holy Spirit and with fire as you are set free today in Jesus name. So right now, cover yourself. Just begin to cover yourself with the blood of Jesus as we begin to start renouncing any involvement with these spirits. So get excited, <laughs> look to Jesus and he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes, so this is the day of your salvation. This is the day of deliverance So make Jesus Christ your Lord and your Savior and let's stand on the word hallelujah his promises are yes 
and amen for them that believe. So, you know, some of you will manifest, don't worry. Uh, some of you won't, and that's no problem either. So just perhaps get a bowl as well in case you throw up. You know, Jesus is faithful. Yes, it's time to be set free. So say this after me. Say, Father, in Jesus' name, I cover myself, my car, my home, my body, my children, my husband, my wife, my animals even with the blood of Jesus. Yes, everything. And cover anything I haven't spoken about now in Jesus' name. Then say, Father, in Jesus' name, I renounce and repent of every evil covenant in my family line or that I may have opened doors for marine spirits to enter. I break it now in Jesus' name. I renounce and break every demonic dedication my parents may have made at, at a river or anywhere. I break the curse in Jesus' name. Now, if you've eaten anything in your dreams, just say this. Say, I break off every food or substance that demons may have fed me in my dreams. And any agreement I may have entered into with them. In Jesus' name. Anything that I may have come into agreement with, I rebuke it. I break it in Jesus' name. I break off every generational curse in my family line in Jesus' name. Just say all of this, friends. Say thank you, Jesus. Always acknowledge him. In Jesus' name, I command every sickness, every limitation, every evil thing that the devil has planted in my body to go in Jesus' name. Say it. I rebuke all sickness, setbacks, delays, in Jesus' name. I, in Jesus' name, I command all snakes to go from my body. Get out of my head. Get out of my chest. Get out of my body, my abdominal parts. Get out. Get out. Just command them. Wherever things may be moving in your body, command them out. And put your hand there and command them out. Say, I break it in Jesus' name. I command every marine spirit to go in Jesus' name. Just repeat it all after me, friends. I break and rebuke every spirit from the marine kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. There's so many scriptures in the word concerning these spirits, friends. I must go. I command every spirit of witchcraft, Leviathan, Jezebel, snake, every queen of the coast, every spiritual husband, every every spiritual wife out of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, even shout at them. I break every evil altar right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Break it now over your life, over your ministry. Break it over your career, your children, your family line. It must all be broken. It ends now. In Jesus' name, I command everything that the devil has placed in the people watching right now to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, baptize them, Lord, in your spirit and with fire right now in Jesus' name. Come out of them. Come out of them. I rebuke them. I curse these spiritual husbands, these spiritual wives. I command them out. You evil spirits, I command you out of them. Every witchcraft, come out of them in Jesus' name and you will not return in the name of Jesus Christ. Now you must declare this by faith, friends. Uh, begin to thank him. Say, I am delivered. <clears throat> I am more than a conqueror. I am covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. I'm free. I'm a blessing. I'm loved. I have love, power, and a sound mind. Just repeat all of this, friends. I'm prospering as my soul is prospering. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am a royal priesthood. I am a child of God. I love Jesus. Yes. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. So friends, you know, it is so important that you begin to maintain your deliverance. You must stand on the word of God. 
you must forgive others. Turn away from idols. Love the Lord your God and love your neighbors. Speak well over yourselves as well. And don't let them come back through any open doors. And there is a work to be done, friends. The work is to believe in the Lord and to become a new creation in Christ. Now, John 9 verses 29, uh, sorry, 6, John 6 verses 29 says that the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. And 2 Corinthians 5 17 says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yes. So friends, put away your old self, get into the word of God and let others see that you are a Christian by the love that you have for one another. Amen. Amen, friends. It's really as simple as that. Don't make it difficult to receive. Just begin to open up yourself to the spirit of God and thank the Lord for what he is doing and begin to go around declaring that you are free. You are free because Isaiah 53 verses 1 says, whose report are you going to believe? So we want to believe the reports of the Lord and we are walking by faith and not by sight, friends. Take all the stress and strain of receiving off of yourselves and simply believe that it is done. Get excited. Hallelujah. May God bless you and be with you. God bless. Thank you for joining us. And begin to, to constantly listen to this and uh, share this video with others who are struggling with spiritual husband. Really just as simple as renouncing, breaking them and uh, these curses and, and receiving that deliverance by faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. So God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit our website on www.christhealingcenter.co.za. God bless you.